Hello everyone, Wasim with NeoSeeker here and welcome to another video. Uh, last week during uh, GDC 2017, NVIDIA CEO uh, Jen Sun Wong uh, revealed the uh, new uh, TI card uh, from the green team, which is the GTX 1080 Ti. Now, um, this card has we've been pretty much all waiting for to see what NVIDIA would come up with in terms of their newest high-end card, will it beat the Titan X? Will it be better than the 1080? Although the 1080 is a monster in its own right. So yeah, well today we have our review sample right here. So we'll do a quick unboxing and we'll go through uh, the major highlights and whatever specifications I'm allowed to talk to uh, talk to you about at this uh, at this time. Uh, the actual review will be coming in a few days and then we'll have, you know, a bunch of um, game benchmarks, the X12, the X11, you know, mix and match of, uh, of whatever seems to be interesting nowadays and we'll see how it performs for real. So, now, taking the top section or, you know what, let me show you the actual box here, the 360. So in the front, you have GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, inspired by gamers built by NVIDIA, business as usual, I guess. This is the uh, the packaging that we've been used to in terms of uh, Founders Edition style cards. Uh, all around, there's really nothing much going on. On the side here, you have some logos and the name of the card again, but most uh, art is located in the front. Now, when we take this out, slide it up, let's put it on the side there. We have the card, it's still in its protective packaging. So I'm gonna put it down right here for now and show you that this time we have a little bit more stuff included. There's, there's some accessories <laughs> with the Founders Edition. So first of all, NVIDIA included this adapter, which is a display port to DVI. Now you wonder why do I need a display port to DVI adapter and you'll understand the reason behind the madness in a second. So you just put that back there and throw it out. Now uh, we also get a little kind of folder with a welcome to G4 GTX gaming. So you get a nice little sticker that you can, you know, used to put on your uh, case, your card, but not your siblings hair or your pet. <laughs> Other than that, we have our support guide and a quick start guide, just so you can install your card properly and use it to its full potential. Now, that's basically it, but it's interesting to see this here. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to it in a moment. Now, the bottom section, that's pretty much about it. And now to the card. So, I already have the Founders Edition GTX 1080. So, we'll use it as a comparison in terms of looks, at least, for now. And take this out of the bag. And we have one little thing here to peel. There you go, it feels so good. Okay, now in terms of design, let me just hold them both here. Um, it's pretty much identical to the GTX 1080 in terms of looks. Uh, the same shroud, same colors, and my cat is hungry again. I just fed her. Okay, if you hear meowing, that's Hazel making some noise and saying hi. Um, okay, now in terms of design again, I lost my train of thought. Uh, so yeah, we said it's, it's pretty much identical to the GTX 1080 and it has uh, the same type of shroud. Um, on the back we have the same back plate. Uh, they're, well, removable if you need to install you know, some custom backplate or water cooling or whatever. Um, other than that, it's pretty neat. It keeps everything looking good. Uh, the back end of the cards is also 
identical. This is GTX 1080, 1080 Ti, same, same. Now, where it gets interesting is, I turn it around, and then, if you remember, with the GTX 1080, we had three display ports, HDMI, and our DVI uh, port for, for connecting your display, and the mesh here for ventilation. Now, with the GTX 1080 Ti, we are losing the <laughs> DVI port. We only get three display ports and an HDMI port and a bigger mesh section for ventilation. So that's basically the major difference. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same until we look at the other side. And for the power supply or the power connectors, uh, GTX 1080, we had an 8-pin power connector right there. With the 1080 Ti, we are getting an 8-pin plus a 6-pin. So it's going to probably need a little bit more power, a little bit more juice for overclocking. And again, we'll check all that out when we put this little baby in the system and see what it's capable of. Uh, so far, <coughs> NVIDIA is stating that it's 35% faster or more performant than the actual GTX 1080, but we'll see how that goes. Um, that's it in terms of looks. And in terms of specifications that I can actually talk about, so uh, NVIDIA improved a lot of things. Um, you know, the, the, the GPU itself is the same uh, GP102 used in the Titan X Pascal. So nothing much in there. Uh, slightly, slightly different, but it's the same GPU. However, we have some memory improvements, cooling improvements, and uh, power improvements. Now, in terms of the, the actual specs, and let me grab my cheat sheet right here. So, uh, the GPU has 12 billion transistors, and the chip itself has cable of 1.6 gig, gigahertz boost, and um, NVIDIA stated that some <coughs> their internal testing some some cards were capable of two gigs of uh, of OC in terms of uh, processor speeds, so that that's cool. Um, it comes with uh, three thousand five hundred eighty four CUDA cores, uh, twenty eight stream multiprocessors, with one hundred twenty eight cores each. So that makes the uh, three thousand five hundred eighty four, and um, you'll you'll find. If you look at the um, at the actual GPU, you'll have 28 geometry units, 224 texture units, six uh, graphic processing clusters, and 88 ROP units. Now, the memory that's in here. So first of all, we have 11 gigs of next-gen GDR5X memory. Now, next-gen. What does it? What what makes it next-gen? Well, some improvements, uh, advanced equalization techniques, channel optimization, and you know they improved the minimal noise, jitter, and PVT loss. So the, the new memory used here is superior to the GDDR5X that we had with the GTX 1080. Uh, other than that, NVIDIA implemented some new technologies, you know, Sounds like some crazy wizardry, uh, tiled caching, uh, lossless color compression, which all in all result in a great boost in bandwidth. Um, other than that, we noticed that lately, you know, a lot of people starting to play in 4K, so we need a bigger frame buffer. And with 11 gigs of RAM, well, it's there. So you can even go a step further and play games at 5K without really running out of memory. And that's, that's good future-proofing, actually. Um, other than that, the design improvements. So we have a new thermal design, although it looks exactly the same, but the vapor chamber cooling in here is optimized, and it has twice the cooling area, so that probably help uh, when the system and the card is under load. And again, uh, as far as NVIDIA uh, is mentioning, we get 
you know, five degrees cooler operations compared to the GTX 1080. Um, other than that, in the power uh, kind of delivery system, we have a seven phase uh, 2X dual FET power design, which is capable of pushing pretty much 250 amps to the GPU. So uh, cleaner power, uh, better, and that should help in terms of overclocking and overall stability. Now, all this combined makes this the best IT ever, as far as NVIDIA is concerned. So if we look at the, uh, at the numbers, the 780 Ti was roughly 18% uh, faster than the 780 back in the day. The 980 Ti was 25% better than the 980 in terms of performance. And the 1080 Ti is supposedly 35% faster than the GTX 1080 that's right here. And, and this thing is, is a monster, and I, it's, it's nonsense. So I can't really wait to pop this into our test system and take a look at what it can do. Um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for the actual review. We're gonna run this little baby through its paces and we'll do as much gaming benchmarks as we can in this limited frame of time, which means that it's coming very soon. So other than that, <coughs> Nvidia mentioned that there will be an, an update, I guess, to the uh, GTX 1080 and the GTX 1060, which will be coming with 11 gigs of RAM and nine gigs of RAM respectively. So the, the 1080, there will be a version available with 11 gigs, of GDR5X and the 1060 will have a version with nine gigs of GDR5 uh, memory. So that's cool, you know, if you wanna push a little bit towards the 4K and higher uh, resolutions. And for the 1060, well, it gives it a little bit more room to, to breathe and handle games that require uh, larger, <coughs> larger frame buffers. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the actual review, as I said. And until next time, well, I take care and we'll see you soon.